Hey guys, this is going to be the third part of the video. Um, in, in you know, like in in third part, we we I told you how to create a random string, which is very easy. And once you have random string of the sort of the certain link that you want. Now, of course, you know I, what I would do is once I have the random string, I would I'll be storing that random string into the system variable. Okay, which is done by um, you know the line number forty-seven. And I have a little helper, a static helper method, helper class that has a, a property called um, uh, that has a static field called capsule system parameter that has some string set. Okay, the end of that string, I'm, uh, I'm using that string as a key. I'm going to assign some this random string into the system variable. Once that is done, of course, now I have to draw that string into the into the uh, a bitmap, right? So basically, to do that, the, the graphics object that we created on line number forty has a method called draw string. It draw string, of course, takes the parameter to draw onto the uh, can the the onto the bitmap. And what kind of font you would like to have? In this case, just randomly, I choose Courier sixteen font, and the brass that you like to paint with the the character with, and that this is the like from you know the padding like from left to how far from the left and how far from the top you would like to render that text that's what these values 10 and 2 are referring to here and that that is basically it. once this is done I just return that bitmap into to the color right and then of course you know uh, that that is my first method is to create, create a bitmap method right here and once I have the bitmap, so I can write the bitmap into the uh, write to to the stream. To do that, I have a method called write to output stream, and I pass the context that's here and the bitmap in this information. The second parameter. This is my little study method that is responsible for, you know, sending out that data as a, as an image to the browser. So basically, here is the. From the context, I grab the response and set to this variable HTTP response base, and then I set the content type is going to be. I would say, okay, render. I'm basically saying to the hey, this is what I'm going to sending to you. It kind of like content negotiation thing. This is the in image JPEG image that I'm sending, and then to the response. So basically, I would I would like to save that bitmap data, raw data, into the output response output stream. That's what this code is saying as a JPEG format. And then it's basically you know because I have this raw data bitmap. Once I'm done writing uh, data to the output stream, I have nothing to do. So make sure you dispose this data. That is all I had to do from the server side. And then, of course, you know, I also had this um, feature. This basically enables to uh, render some new text. So basically, by clicking this one, so basically this code, you know, gets executed again and again and again. So basically, um, uh, uh, of course, this is uh, this is the JavaScript. I'll show you that one later. So just to prove that it comes in here, I'll put a go ahead and put breakpoints um, when I click this one as you can see it, these two method get executed right okay so in my uh, in my uh, view now I have a this is of course my iframe as I told you in my previous um, previous videos and this is I have next to it I have a little image let me show you uh, here's your register this is the Next to the iframe, I have this image. Okay, this image, and it, I give an ID, and then it has a click JavaScript on click event. And on click, I call this on refresh capture image JavaScript. Can I go to definition of this guy? Oh, okay, pretty, pretty easy, very simple function. So basically, here all I'm doing is this is my iframe. I have a reference to that iframe using get element by ID. And then the content document after iframe and go to a location and reload it. So basically, all it does is calling this reload method from the for the iframe. Basically, change the source property of the iframe. 
and when the source property changes so basically uh, here this guy gets called again and again as many time as you so like and on each iteration all those steps get followed yeah um that that is yeah this that is the basic tutorial guys I, my goal is to you know i would uh, i would like to uh, post this not the entire code because like i told you you know this is my um this is my uh a project my um part time project i would say you know with, uh, of course the sorting portion the portion of the code that is strictly responsible for rendering the bitmap image and how to integrate all those information that would be I would like to put it into the github soon and I would let you guys know once I do that anyway thank you so much for watching my videos thank you so much guys have a wonderful coding